All right. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Helmet to Helmet podcast. As it's already spoiled, we got our first guest, the GOAT of comic book TikTok, <laughs> Luke Jones. <laughs> Dude, we'll do what an intro, jazz, man. That's what heck of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess first we can get straight into the bracket, kind of get our hot takes going. Because I know this guy's got you. some. <laughs> yeah? Dude, I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. This guy's got some rough ones. All right. We did, we did it. We're, we're professionals here. We went seating and everything <laughs> based on. Well, I kind of mixed this up because it put a lot of the certain same movie together, so I didn't mix it up a little bit. Oh, like the mm-hmm. sequels to each other? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, you know, we did our best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First up, we got Into the Spider Verse versus Zack Snyder's Justice League. Interesting. That, <laughs> dude, that is an interesting matchup. <laughs> Dude, go ahead and get get your opinion first, dude. So, the thing with me is I love animated stuff mm-hmm. simply because you can like do so much more with it yeah. than you know live action stuff. Because live action stuff, like, dude, it costs you thousands of dollars to blow something up, and the animation you can just do it <laughs> super easy. You know, um. So you said into the Spider Verse. So this is the first one, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, I mean, I think that movie itself kind of changed the game when it comes to animation movies, because like the next thing you saw is that TMNT uh, movie that came out and they Mm kind of copied that same style. Um, I do love the Zack Snyder cut, but the fact that it's like five hours long, dude, you you got to like it up. You got to go to the bathroom. You got to pause that thing. And honestly, I just really enjoyed both, but I'm going to have to give the edge just a little bit to Spider-Verse just because of those couple unique factors. I feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. same. Snyder, yeah. Or the uh, Spider-Verse is definitely in my top, I'd say five probably. Dude, top I love, love that one of all time. So into, For sure. Gotcha. I would agree. Are right, you on the second matchup we got? All right, I think this one's pretty easy, and if it's not, we might have a problem. Um, okay, <laughs> this is probably one of our hot takes. I don't know if you saw it on the on the TikTok. But, uh. across, across the Spider Verse versus Man of Steel. I think Man versus of Steel. Man is, of Steel. I think Man of Steel's trash. We both do not like Man of Steel. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? So, do we, you love we it? Our, we give our buddy Justin a hard time because he pretty much adores it, and we just I don't know for. I just, it didn't really hit with me, especially when I was younger, even like, I yeah. remember being like, this is very mediocre for, to be like, yeah. so high. So yeah. I'll, I'll agree with the one that I know y'all are going with. Um, <laughs> I, no, wait, we want to know your opinion though, for real. <laughs> no, for sure. But I, I enjoyed Man of Steel. Um, I feel like bare minimum, I feel like the casting was great. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoyed Henry Cavill. I still enjoy Henry Cavill. I think he's a great pick for Superman. Um, it's a weird movie. It's mm-hmm. definitely a weird movie. They <laughs> they plugged some things in there that I'm kind of like, this is a little weird. Um, but it was, you know, it's to me it's no weirder than Batman versus Superman when all of a sudden Doomsday popped up at the end and you're like, yeah. well, this is. <laughs> This is yeah. terrible. Um, so no, I'm definitely leaning towards that same Spider Verse, but um, eh, I don't think Man of Steel was horrible. It just wasn't great. Another yeah. hot take. I'm already dropping hot takes. I don't like Superman at all. You don't like the character itself? I, no, <laughs> I don't personally. But that, I mean, honestly, I understand. Um, I understand where you're coming from because. You know, one of his biggest critiques is how boring he is because he can be a boring character at times because you can only make someone so super before yeah. it's just like, all right, dude, come on. What's you know? the point? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I feel like, you know, certain things have kind of poked, poked fun at that, like uh, One Punch Man. One Punch yeah. Man is kind of the same thing, but they found a way to actually make it interesting, if that makes sense. Yeah. No. So are you a huge Superman guy or – Dude, honestly, like, I have a love-hate relationship with him. Yeah. Um, 
anytime he fights somebody, I want him to lose, which is yeah. kind of <laughs> like, yeah. like Batman versus Superman. I was like, dude, if this movie comes out and Batman doesn't beat him into the ground, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but at the same time, like there's traits about him that I like, but I, I, I honestly like seeing him lose fights. So, you know. Yeah, true. <laughs> so across one. Across middle. For sure. Next, For sure. next one. All right, we got Black Panther versus Batman '89. Black Panther, so the old Batman. Michael Keaton. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this one is a little bit tougher. Um, I do too. It's very nostalgic. That yeah. I think that's the first Batman movie I've ever seen, and that Batman's my top, like, personal favorite over everything. And I so, for sure, that's very nostalgic for me, but. That movie, <laughs> it's a little rough in some some parts. Yeah, I mean, you know, Tim Burton. I'm pretty sure he was the director, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't really enjoy his style of movies. Um, that being said, I feel like that was a good Batman. Um, mm-hmm. I enjoyed Michael Keaton. I enjoyed uh, Jack Nicholson. I believe that was the movie as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I it's another one of those situations where I feel like the casting was really well. Black Panther, in my opinion, uh, maybe this is my turn to give a hot take, but I feel like it's a little oh. bit overrated. Um, oh. All right, little we're, little done. we're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> really? So, Dude, I love, why, I love why, the movie. Why do you feel that way? So, I think Black Panther is a 9 out of 10. Like, I think it's a truly great movie. Um, the fact that I give it a 9 out of 10 and so many people, like a lot of people, especially on, you know, TikTok, They'll put it as like one of their top three, and it's not three or two, you know. Yeah. So just because of that, I'm like, dude, I love the movie. I love Killmonger. Um, I love Chadwick Boseman. Love all of those guys. Love everything about that movie. I just think there's something about it that doesn't deserve that pedestal sometimes. Um, yeah. So great movie, nine out of ten. I just can't give it a ten, you know. Yeah, um, I feel that for sure. I don't, against this movie, I, I hear you, but I don't. It's ten out of yeah. ten. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. that. You know, um, I'm not like. It's but it's I do a, get what you mean. Like everyone's on board, so you're kind of like, all right, dude, it wasn't perfect. Yeah. Like there's always yeah. stuff you can do better. I get that. Yeah, you know, since y'all are a sports podcast too, it's not the same. But um, every time I watch an NFL, you know game now and i see something about taylor swift or hear something about taylor, <laughs> hey, dude oh, i know it's oh, annoying that's that like how a... i feel about black panther sometimes I feel, yeah. exactly that was a yeah. that's probably the greatest comparison i've ever heard yeah. <laughs> dude, taylor swift is get her out please yeah, yeah. Um, who's, your, I, who's your team dude i'm a i'm a bills guy um oh, really yeah i hey. like the bills we we're both Jags guys. <laughs> oh man! Sorry, sorry to give you that. Uh... We got the better Josh Allen, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least you, Josh Allen, doesn't throw three picks in a game. So I, there I, you I, go. Yeah, but um, when it when it comes to down between these two, even though I feel like Black Panther is a little bit, you know, talked about too much, I, I think I might have to give it the slight edge. I feel like I do too, because a hundred percent, I think it. Destroys Batman eighty nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it All has right. some rough CGI at times, but yeah, I still get yeah. the edge, you know. Yeah. So, go ahead. We got this one is very rough for me, especially. We got Avengers Endgame versus Guardians three. <laughs> oh man. Like, I know my answer. I just don't like that I already know the answer, if that makes sense. I hope we're on the same track because I I feel the same way. For me, it's Guardians 3. Oh, we're not on the same track. (laughs) We're not on the same page either (laughs) at all. As a movie, I feel like if you take Endgame for what it is, which is like it's the, you know, culmination of 15 years of movies, like it's that – perfectly it does that perfectly but as a movie i don't think it stands to guardians 3 like as a movie itself if that makes sense no that makes sense sense. no it doesn't don't tell (laughs) that it's okay it does not make sense in game wins 
Okay, give your give your perspective so, on it. <laughs> they're both unique movies because one of them, like you said, dude, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm I'm twenty three years old. So Iron Man one came out in two thousand eight when I'm eight years old, right? Mm-hmm. So Avengers Endgame is literally basically the culmination of my entire childhood in one movie. So that's why it's unique. Yeah. Guardians of Galaxy three is unique because I thought the MCU was going in the garbage can um, with <laughs> yeah. some of the things that they put out, some of the TV shows too. And then Guardians of the Galaxy 3 revived my hope that it's going to keep being a solid franchise. Um, and as much as I love the fact that it did that for me, I still have to go with Cap picking up the hammer, everybody coming through at the end like that. That's the loudest I've ever screamed in a the theater when I yeah. saw that hand <laughs> into his hand. So yeah. I got to give it to him. I've, so. I've definitely, that's definitely valid. There's no argument. But personally for me. <laughs> Endgame. All right, next one. This one's going to be interesting. Logan or Deadpool? Dude, those movies could not be any more different for me. I know, exactly. <laughs> Dude. And the fact that they're about to come together and make a movie is so awesome. But um, I love Logan. From a cinematic san- standpoint, I love Logan because it is a good movie. It's not just a good superhero movie. It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, dude, that is a, dep- a depressing movie at the same time. <laughs> um, so, like, you're – like, it's literally comparing the color black to the color yellow right here. Like, it's just two completely different things. Yeah. Um, I like Deadpool a little bit more, honestly. Me too. I do. I feel like I do. Logan takes it for me, but it, it is very close. Deadpool. Yeah, it's, it's a weird comparison, but it's that's what makes it a hard choice, you know? Yeah. You just – you're losing, man. You're I, taking I that. <laughs> I'm taking that over <laughs> All right, got the next one. This one's a, another pretty rough one. <laughs> so we got the Dark Knight versus Infinity War. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all start off this one. <laughs> I'll let you start it. <laughs> the Dark Knight is it's one of my favorite movies, I would say, ever. And it's not just because it's Batman like Dude, Heath Ledger, I mean, you've heard it a hundred times. Heath Ledger absolutely deserved, like, every bit of praise he got for for that performance, man. It's, like, one of the greatest of all time, I would say, performances in a movie. He, but Infinity War is all of (laughs) them. Seeing everybody, like, disappear and, you know, like, the snap. Our heroes that we watch for so long, they lose. They finally lose, man, and it's, like, it hurt. It hurt really bad. I think I cried yeah. actually, just a little yeah. bit. You know, <sighs> dude. So which yeah, one are you taking? Whole... Oh, uh, um... <laughs> I was trying to get out of picking. <laughs> I would probably. I gotta take Infinity War though. I'd say, just because of the sheer like feeling it opening night gave me. So here's another thing I'm gonna add on to that. Okay. If you had to sit down and rewatch a movie, though, which one would you want to rewatch more, The Dark Knight or Infinity War? I think rewatching, I can rewatch The Dark Knight all the time. It's just that great of a movie. Infinity War was yeah. in the movie theater. I think it was better because of the situation, but just rewatchable, The Dark Knight. So I'm going to pick The Dark Knight. I feel that too. That's kind of like how I was saying the game. Yeah, that's that's definitely fair. I think that like a bunch of those movies who relied heavily on the shock value of like that big plot twist, um, after you see it once, it kind of does lose that rewatchability because, dude, like you can only hear so many times Vader being like, I'm your father before you're like, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he's his father, you know, I already know. <laughs> um, so yeah, Infinity War doesn't have the rewatchability of it. Um, I would choose Infinity War just as my more favorite movie because of that 
crazy plot twist, even though like, even though in the comics, you know, that happens, I still didn't know if they would translate that into the movie. Yeah. Um, because killing half of your roster is a big step, regardless of how much success yeah. your franchise has garnered. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, but that like, Mr. Stark, world's on, you know, all that, that, yeah. that me, so <laughs> I gotta get it to, I gotta get it to Infinity War. All right, I lost. <laughs> So are you? A, you're a Star Wars guy too. Yeah, I mean, Dope. dude, honestly, like, there's not many franchises that are like the you know the big popular ones that I haven't seen. Yeah. Um, Star Wars lost me a little bit with the last trilogy. Um, oh yeah. See, I like so this guy. I, I love it, just not as much I like as the it. other ones. He hates it. <laughs> this guy's a fan. His, what? <laughs> we we won't get into that because that I like Ray. He some, hates Ray. No, I, I don't hate Ray. I, like I don't Ray. hate Ray. I hate it, specifically. I think the last movie ruined Star Wars. As like, but I don't. I can, agree. I agree. Wow. I agree. Why does it have I to do. be Palpatine, man? Like anybody else? And why not? And it, like, and it somehow, it somehow he's over. back. Just like yeah, cool. Somehow Palpatine sure. returned. <laughs> yep. There's no yep. way. All right, so we won't go down that trail today. Um, all right, next one. I think I'm going to lose a lot of those. Um, <laughs> Iron Man or the Batman? Oh. Um, yeah, like, I, dude, I hate the fact that I am I keep choosing the Marvel movies because I don't, like, You're I don't Marvel love guy. Marvel that Yeah, I'm a Marvel guy, but I don't love them that much more than DC. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the Batman just hasn't garnered enough. Like it hasn't stood the test of time yet, if that yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I, like Iron Man, the beginning of this whole MCU universe. So I, I gotta go with Iron Man. Yeah, I agree. Same. I the Batman like was good though. Yeah, I feel but like it's gonna. It was. It was. Do a lot better when its sequels come out. Like mm-hmm. as a you know, trilogy or whatever, however many they're going to do with it. I feel like that will escalate it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. You got the next one? This one's pre- pretty clear cut for me. We got Wonder Woman okay. up against X-Men First Class. Interesting. I want I want to know why it's clear cut. I'm a I'm a huge X-Men dude. <laughs> I'm I clearly like clearly for me seeing like young Xavier, young you know Magneto bringing their team together and like seeing kind of how Magneto snaps and like goes over the edge. That and that's that's just really that's interesting because you like Wonder Woman more than I do, and I'm picking Wonder Woman. Yeah, which I mean I like Wonder Woman too, but it's just like my X Men fandom takes it (laughs) away. I mean, as cool as it was to see, like, of all people, play a extremely powerful villain in Kevin Bacon, like the most random dude you could get to play a villain. <laughs> um, I, I do have to give it to Wonder Woman. I just, ah, cinematically, I just really enjoyed that movie. Yeah. I feel that too, for sure. Yeah. And also, at some point, I have to pick a DC movie over Marvel. <laughs> and that's <laughs> this the perfect is the one. one. This is the one. This one's pretty rough too. We got Thor Ragnarok over The Dark Knight Rises. The Dark Knight Rises, interesting. Oh man, Dude, that's another one that they're just so different from. So each other. yeah. So. Did different. you like Ragnarok? I did. Um, you know, I I think the reception that they got for how they blended the comedy and action led. Um, them to create Love and Thunder, which is in exactly. my bottom three movies of all time. Exactly yeah. how I feel there. <laughs> like, it's bomb. Um, so, like, yeah, it's like, oh, they love the humor of it. Let me just make... God, I don't even know. It's, Turn it, it, it to felt 11. To me, it felt to me like one of those, like, scary movie parodies of a superhero movie. Like, that's kind Dude, of the Yeah, vibe. exactly. Um, Dude, Love and Thunder was... That was a rough watch. Oh, it was trash. It was complete <laughs> garbage. <It's so laughs> it was bad. garbage. Um, I mean, imagine calling someone the God Butcher and he just kills one God. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, that was cool. Um, <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Um, big fan of that. So, um, <laughs> shoot. I don't know. Let me let me see what y'all think. I, like you were saying, I, I kind of 
feel like it was too much almost the comedy especially with mm. hulk they took hulk and made him literally they ruined a, hulk man an infant throwing tantrums <sighs> they dude. they destroyed hulk hulk used to be one of my favorites and they just i yeah. can't stand him now at all they made him a toddler and it's just dude. it infuriated me so much he is a sore subject for me because he's my <laughs> favorite marvel comics character like when I was first starting doing TikToks, one of my, one of the ones that kind of did the best for me was uh, debating Hulk versus Superman, and I just love mm-hmm. Hulk so much. So to see them take this character that, in several different comic lines, solos an entire team of superpowered people, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> have him hand Ant Man a taco. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm just, it made me mad. Um, but yeah, keep going. Keep going. Uh, man, that... Like, you get a snippet, you know, a little sneak peek of, you know, one of the best Hulk stories to me, like World War Hulk. Dude, that run, he is an absolute menace, dude. And then they literally make him a toddler. Like, he's throwing tantrums yeah. in the, in the, you know, his uh, room and, like, it's just that one infuriated. See, I didn't mind the movie when it came out. I thought it was good. Like, I was like, all right, mm-hmm. it's funny, whatever. But to see what happened after it because of that movie makes me hate the movie now. So that's why I was wondering if you liked yeah. it. Because now I don't like it because I've seen what they yeah. did to Hulk. So because so, of that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I give it a 9 out of 10. But because of what happened because of it. Yeah. Um, dude, that movie to me is almost like Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Like that thing got popped off and then everything <laughs> fell apart after that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna have to side with the other one. Yep. Okay. Dark Knight. You okay. How's this move? How can you not hear that Tom Hardy Bane and just yeah. and not move him yeah, on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who you guys? Alright, so No Way Home or Ant Man in the Wasp. <laughs> You said No Way Home? Yeah, No Way Home. Dude, No Way Home, that to me is my favorite movie of all time. I don't really care that it's fan service because I know that it is. Um, yeah. But it worked on me, you know? Seeing Toby <laughs> and seeing Andrew did to me what they were hoping it would do to me. Yeah. Um, like, I brought my I brought my wife into that theater. And, and you like, screamed like a girl? Dude, <laughs> dude. Like, she was scared of me by <laughs> I'm just like losing my mind. So, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really enjoy the other movie that much. So I, I got to give it to No Way Home. Yeah, me too. Me too, for sure. But once again, with the rewatchability, it's kind of tough. For yeah, for me, it's definitely. I, I had it. I he disagrees. He's like, no, nope, I watch it every day. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I put. I had it as my number four Spider Man movie. Mm. Yeah, I put both the Spider Verses and the first Toby above it. That's just respect. Without the nostalgia it. aspect of it, the movie wasn't like amazing. Oh know. yeah, but that yeah, was I the agree. whole movie. Yeah, that yeah. that made it. Which it wasn't bad, but to rewatch it like in two years and just yeah. want to, I don't know. Like that all bumps yeah. up so much. It relied on cameos to carry the load. Um, and it worked because we already knew and loved those characters. Like seeing Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin slam Tom yeah. Holland's Spider Man through was apartment beautiful. buildings, dude, it was amazing. Yeah, and then yeah. like you have another movie who kind of tried to do the same thing in a Multiverse of Madness, and it just didn't work the same way, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right, we got um, Spider Man Two. Versus the Winter Soldier. Uh, I like Winter Soldier. It was it was good, but I just I just love Toby. Um, yeah, yeah. you know I love his little frog face in his Spider Man costume. <laughs> um, like I just have to, I just love it. It's such a great movie, such a great franchise. I feel that too for sure because right after No Way Home was Spider Man Two. Hmm. Uh. And I got a lot of crap for putting the first one over the second one of Toby's movies. I agree with you. Like, yeah. I will agree. Just because yeah. I love the Green Goblin that much. He made it. Dude, he elevated yeah. it. 
so much. Yeah. They should have never put him in a mask because Willem Dafoe's like his acting is so much with his face. He didn't need yeah, it. Like, yeah, like that's the only thing I would change. You know, perfect. And then in No Way Home, that's something they did like perfect. Yeah. So Guardians of the Galaxy or Doctor Strange? Um. So I I was familiar with Guardians when the movie came out, but I didn't know how well it would translate to the screen. So mm-hmm. I didn't expect anything from it. Like my expectations yeah. were down here and it, yeah. it was like a movie that's like up here to me. So just because of how much it blew me away because of my low expectations, um, I gotta, I gotta give it to guardians. I did too. For yeah, sure. me too. Dr. Strange. It's probably, I don't know if it's out take or not. I thought it was pretty <laughs> average. I mean, like yeah, the, the, yeah. you know, CGI and everything is like next level, but, it looks amazing, yeah. but the you know plot wise is kind of you know mid. I would say, yeah. And I really hope we're all on the same page with this one. This is just an easy sweep, three nothing. But if not, <laughs> we have a problem. Um, <laughs> Homecoming or Spider Man? Spider Man one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Spider Man one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> if we've done it. For sure. There you go. All right, this one. This one's gonna be really tough. <laughs> no, <laughs> Avengers, the first Avengers versus Shazam. <laughs> he likes Shazam. He's about to cry. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, dude, yeah, Avengers. Like that. It didn't introduce Loki as a villain because, of course, Thor did that first, but it introduced yeah. him as a great villain. Um, mm-hmm. and then. The other one's just the other one, so I'm gonna have yeah. to go. We won't even say the name; <laughs> it's just the other one, like like uh, Voldemort. He, he yeah, you know, that That's was right. a rough matchup. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, how far deep are we into this list? Just we got two more in the first round. Yeah. Okay, just I yeah, really we had 32. Hope, I'm really hoping. That at no point do I hear Captain Marvel come out of y'all's mouth. No. Well, hey, we didn't make the list. We didn't make, we the, didn't list. make the list, oh. so we're good. It's the top 32, and that one didn't make it. So <laughs> Thank God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, He's I saw, like, I'm quitting the podcast. I'll have to show you, you his, He made a TikTok with, uh, I saw the one you made where you were doing the blind ranking, and Captain oh, Marvel yeah. came up, and he's like, point number one, and then it just goes 10, and then the TikTok <laughs> <ends>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like Kevin. That was great. Uh, So this one's Far From Home or The Suicide Squad? The first Suicide Squad? No, The Suicide Squad. Oh, second one. How did that movie make it? (laughs) Um, I I really enjoyed The Second Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Um, There was a lot of great things about it, and I think the fact that its predecessor was as god awful as it was made it even better um so i'm gonna have to go suicide squad yeah me too for sure they did a lot like i really like how james gunn did it bringing in like you know polka dot man and all like you know the lesser known characters and making them giving them the spotlight even if they died (laughs) really (laughs) quick (laughs) i think it's yeah that was a great point but i think (laughs) Going back to the first Suicide Squad movie they made, I think that's the only movie that I thought was horrible, and somehow it got worse with time. Because mm-hmm. now every time that I see Will Smith, I just think about the fact that he's just that little cue balls, like you know, he's just yeah. getting lost. <laughs> it makes it worse. It just makes it worse. <laughs> But that's his real life, right? Getting bossed around. Yeah. Him and no, yeah, for kidding. sure. But uh, <laughs> called her G.I. Jane. <laughs> this is the last one of the first round. Um, Civil War or Days of Future Past? Civil War, Days of Future Past. Oh, man. Dude, Civil War is basically an Avengers movie. Like, yep. it really is. There's so much going on in it. Uh, Days of Days of Future Past was such an interesting movie. Um, I think it did a lot of things well, but to me, 
seeing all of those heroes fight each other and knowing that the villain was more of an intellectual villain, um, as well as introducing Spider-Man into the MCU, I just I just love Civil War, you know? Yeah, I feel the same yeah. way. So now you want to start here or you want to go backwards? Oh, we may need to save that one. Let's go backwards. <laughs> that one's going to be tough. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go backwards. All right, so mm. now the Suicide Squad or Civil War? I got to go with Suicide Squad still, which feels like an upset in my heart. Um, <laughs> but Sylvester Stallone as a shark is just cool. Like, you don't yeah. see that often. <laughs> so I got to go with that. I, I think I got to go Civil War. I'm going Civil War. Because That's fine. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Just the impact it had was just catastrophic. All You felt the f- effects of Civil War through Endgame, you know, like. That's true. Yeah. That's a great point, actually. Yeah. With Iron Man and Cap, like it, it just hit a little harder. I think. That's a good point. So, Ooh. this one. <laughs> we got Spider Man One versus the Avengers. Mm. Dude, that is <laughs> rough. Oh, dude. Um. I got to go with uh, Spider-Man 1, though. Like, yes, I just me love, too. I do too. love that cool. movie. It's so good. All right, you know this one. All right, so Spider-Man 2 or Guardians, the first one? <laughs> I'm a Spider-Man guy, so I'm just going to say mine right now. Spider-Man 2. That's fair. Dude, yeah, like the more the more I think about that movie, the whole you know, identity crisis, his moral struggles coming into that movie and literally being felt by us because he is losing his powers, he's falling on cars, you know, he's falling out of the sky. Like that's such an interesting curveball to throw into a superhero movie. Um so yeah, Spider-Man 2. I would have went Guardians, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I feel like that's it's definitely was close for sure. Mm-hmm. I feel like this one's pretty clear too. We got No Way Home or The Dark Knight Rises. There's not much to be said about that one, I don't think. <laughs> so The Dark Knight Rises, right? <laughs> I, I can't, but go ahead. No, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. No, no, no. No okay. Way Home for sure. No Way Home for sure. <laughs> yeah. well, I was joking. <laughs> Definitely joking. Um, Iron Man or Wonder Woman? Uh, Dude, I just liked Iron Man. Like, Wonder Woman had a lot of great aspects, but I'm going Iron Man. Yeah, Yeah. Iron Man too, for sure. Deadpool, Infinity War. Infinity War. Yep. Okay. Uh, Endgame or Black Panther? Uh, yeah, I gotta go Endgame with this one. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I can see that that hurts you. Mm, and I just a little that. bit. It's no okay. Way. You're thinking about that one. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Endgame. <laughs> yeah. All right. This one is tough. Yeah. Not really, though. It is, but it's not. I feel like it is. Into the Spider Verse or across the Spider Verse? I'm going across. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um, I think across too. If okay. You get Miguel. You get I might just say it was seven. tough then. Well, oh, it's tough for sure. But yeah. you already made it. It's one of those on. that's <laughs> tough, but also it's a quick decision. Um, but yeah, like you said, Miguel O'Hara is just, he, he, he was done very, very well. Yeah. All right. So now we'll go back this way. Oof. All right. In game or across the Spider Verse? Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh God! Oh, dude, it's like it's like you're handing me two puppies and telling me that like I only get to take one, you know? <laughs> um, gosh, ah, just because of the fact of how much I was blown away in the theaters, I can't get past 
like I already said it, but I can't get past the hammer coming back to cap scene. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I gotta go in game. See, I gotta go across. I gotta go across. Man, that go that just hit me. In I get it. The feel, the feels of that movie, like talking to his mom on the roof, and like, yeah, man, that that one hit me hard. Mm. But not the same game. I'm on the it. fence, but I gotta go across. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay, Infinity War or Iron Man? Uh, I'm gonna go with Infinity War. I think Iron Man's more rewatchable, bringing that back in. But I, yeah. I feel like Infinity War. I'm going Infinity War. Me too. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no way home <laughs> or spider-man 2 i mean y'all already know my answer to this one <laughs> no I way home. Say, he said it was his favorite already <laughs> is it you <laughs> yeah for sure okay all right so spider-man or civil war oh god that might be the hardest one yet to me yeah dude um I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like Spider Man One still takes it, in my opinion. That's what I'd pick. I just rewatched it the other Spider-Man. day too, man, and it's it's all it always it's, hits. Like, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> yeah, it's legit. Oh, so now we're to our top four. Oh God! All the right, finals. the final. Yep. So No Way Home or Spider Man? Ooh. <laughs> oh. I. I'm I'm also having to think of this not I'm trying to almost take my favoritism out of it yeah. and just look at it for the quality of the movie. And one thing that I think does take away No Way Home that I do wish they had done differently was there was zero interaction between Green Goblin and Toby. Like yeah. they didn't yeah. acknowledge each other, um they didn't fight, they didn't look at each other, they didn't have dialogue. Um so even though No Way Home is my favorite movie, I feel like the better movie is Spider Man. I'm going Spider Man. Yeah, like I said, I had it one rank above, and when we did our rankings of the Spider Man movies, it's uh, Spider Man. Well, No Way Home, me. you wouldn't like it without Spider Man. I feel like. Yeah. Like the first. One. I agree. Yeah. Um. All right. So Cross or Infinity War. Whew, dude, I don't know why I'm saying a cross, but I feel like a cross is the right answer, and I don't know I why. Do too. See, I, I like would it's... take a cross over Endgame, but I would take Infinity War over a cross. Yeah, that, I feel that too. But but yeah, I feel like it's probably I don't know if it's a hot take, but a cross. I feel like across the Spider Verse is maybe one of, if not the one of the best comic book movies ever made like top three for sure for me at least it was a great movie for sure he's like just not top three (laughs) (laughs) all right so we're in the finals and i just want to acknowledge they're both spider-man just so you know yeah three Um, of the four finalists were (laughs) spider-man yeah that's pretty bad um across or spider-man one oh god (laughs) man um Dude, this is actually really tough. What are y'all's thoughts? I feel like it... Well, for me, we've, we've done the list. I put a cross at my one. Mm-hmm. And so that's going to have to take it for me. Spider-Man. Oh, God. You're going to be the tiebreaker. I just know. So you know. But I'm taking Spider-Man. The nostalgia, I just remember being like young and watching it and just... Blow my mind. Across is great. I think it'll be good. But hey, Spider Man's the time. With the, you get the cameo with Toby and Uncle Ben, and you know when they're going through like you get you get that too. When did Spider Man one come out? Man, I think O two. Yeah, it was O two. So O2. over twenty years, and it's we're still putting it this high. Across yeah. just came out. Like so, and those were actual people that did such a great job to make it. And that was, like you said earlier, it's a lot easier, I feel like, to do. Not easy, but it's easier. You can make people do whatever you want, 
how they look, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going Spider Man. I'm trying to sell you right now. So you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, <sighs> bro. So I'm happy I do. Know. I do remember. You know, I'm probably like five years old at the time. You know, really, really young. This is a couple years after that movie came out, but I think I'm like, I think I'm just hanging out outside or something, and I see like a green spider. Like crawling across this. <laughs> He's like, bite me, please. <laughs> Dude, literally, I picked it up and I'm like, bite me, bro. And then, <laughs> like, it just lets loose on my hand. And then, you know, I'm five years old, a spider just bit me. So I, I start crying. And then, like, I realize the gravity of what I've done because I made a mistake because this was a green spider. So I knew that I was going to turn into the green goblin. And that was <laughs> <how it was. laughs> So I'm not crying because it hurts. I'm crying because I'm becoming a super villain. And I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> and the fact that that movie was able to do it to me, I'm going to have to go with Spider-Man 1. Yes, my guy. All right. Spider-Man 1 takes it. Yeah. Honestly, kind I, of a sleeper. I didn't expect yeah, it, but that definitely it makes sense. Yeah. The underdog came through. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm happy with that too, though. No doubt. But moving on into our top fives to kind of get, we kind of touched on it a little, but I would say kind of break it up, maybe Marvel and DC, just okay. kind of your top five like favorites, personal favorites. Okay. So five Marvel and five DC. Yeah. Oh shoot. All right. Um. Oh God! It doesn't really have to be in any particular order because I know you're, we kind of put you on the spot. But. No, you're good. Um, so I'm gonna try my hardest to put it in order, just because I feel like that makes it more enjoyable when people actually watch stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, I think my favorite DC character has to be Batman. Um, I really enjoy Batman as a character. Um, there's something there's, you know, we kind of mentioned earlier underdogs, there's almost an underdog quality to him, Mm -hmm. um, which doesn't make sense because he's a billionaire, but somehow he managed (laughs) to get that underdog quality. So I have to put him as my number one. Um, are we going like around the table or do you just want me to list all of them? Uh, we can go. You can go. We'll go around the table. So we're doing possible. which one? I'm sorry. Which which one did you just do? One DC. Oh yeah, DC. Yeah. Your favorite one? It's the Dark Knight. It gotta be. It, yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel like that's pretty mutual for yeah. sure. That's that's a it's the unanimous yeah. pick. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> okay. Here's where so it gets rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess that's back to me then. I I know, like, as much, like, so if you showed someone what we just did and it's like, oh, they all chose Batman, they're probably all going to agree. After that, this is going to get weird. Like, there's going to be some (laughs) weird characters tossed in here. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say my second favorite DC character is probably Jason Todd. Um, so I'm sticking with the mm-hmm. Batman theme. But I just really like Jason Todd as a character. Yeah, the the Red Hood storyline is just definitely awesome. one of the, one of the best Batman stories ever. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. My number two is Wally West's Flash. That's a good one. I just really, I've always loved the Flash. I like Barry too, but to me, like growing up with the Justice League cartoon. And it, you know, Wally was the Flash in that one, so it he just really stuck with me through like growing up reading the comics and getting more in depth. I really liked him. Yeah, no doubt. So I never really got into DC comics at all. <laughs> Sorry, this is where yeah. I'm kind of useless. Like I told you earlier. <laughs> um, yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to just think what I did. I mean, Flash was one, and the, I so I like Black Adam. 
I know a lot, that's a hot take. A lot of people didn't like the movie. Don't like Black Adam. I like Black Adam. Yeah. I just think yeah. I like him because I think he can beat up Superman, and I wish we'd see that in an actual movie. But you know, probably not now. But we won't now. That's so, a valid. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like Black Adam too for sure. I didn't think the movie was too bad. He didn't like the movie. I didn't really care for it. I mean, I didn't think it was like as great. I liked but... it. Did yeah, you, I mean, what did like... you think about it? So I think the the thing that is going for it is also the same thing that's going against it, and it's the fact that Black Adam was played by The Rock. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the coolest things you can have happen, just from an aesthetic standpoint of seeing Dwayne Johnson playing, you know, that character. But also at the same time, dude, he had one mode that whole movie, and it was just deadpan, like straight faced comedy and it was it was it was weird um it was cool and weird at the same time so i mean yeah it was it was was okay yeah yeah um is it back to me yeah okay so i would say my third favorite dc character ever is probably going to be martian manhunter i really like his character um i think there's a couple i'm not sure how often it's said but i know it maybe twice Superman acknowledged Martian Manhunter as probably being the most powerful superhero on the planet. Um, So, which is hard to do because as much crap as I give Superman, he has such a wide array of powers that for him to admit that someone probably has a better power set than him, um, it's pretty cool. So I got to give it to Manhunter as my third. Yeah. He, man, he, I'm, like Superman, they even had the nerf Superman. Like, have you ever seen where he was even to the point where he could like make a smaller Superman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's, he was just crazy, but yeah, it's wild to the point where Martian Manhunter even has more powers than him. I mean, it's probably harder to name powers he doesn't have than powers he does. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. See, and I wouldn't like that. Yeah, really. At all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is yours? My number three is Dick Grayson's Robin slash Nightwing. Yeah, that's a great one. That's a great one. I feel like he kind of he's kind of like the heart and soul of the Bat family. Like he brings everybody together, and he just I agree. Kind of like the Michelangelo of the Ninja, Ninja Turtles, <laughs> for sure. Back to you. I don't have one. <laughs> you don't have one. <laughs> no, I tell you, I like really. All I've got into was Batman. Um, I like Wonder Woman. I like, like the basics. Nothing yeah. crazy like that. Yeah. Flash. Yeah. So, but I never really got into the comics. Yeah. I'm a loser, dude. man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, dude. Um, I would say my fourth favorite DC character is probably Lobo. I really like Lobo. Um, a he's That's such a great bit. <laughs> Yeah, he's such a unique character. Um, And on top of that, him being able to go toe-to-toe with Superman while being a cool and interesting character adds Mm -hmm. to it. So I'm going to have to take Lobo at four. Yeah, you can't can't put out the main man. He's just, he's got to be up there for sure. (laughs) For sure, absolutely. My number four is going to be Superman. Just, (laughs) I just always... You know, he's how can you not put him up there? He's not only iconic, but just you know, he's right there in you know, Crisis, Infinite Earths, like every storyline. Superman is yeah. like he's there, and he obviously plays like such a huge role in everything. I just feel like mm-hmm. you got to have him. So, who's your yeah. number five? My five is Martian Man here. Who's your five? Oh, God. Um, Dude, I feel like the fifth one is probably the hardest one for me. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm going to have to go with Deathstroke. I really like his Mm -hmm. character. Um, The tactical mind, the the mystery of him, while also managing to, at times, almost be a ruthless Batman, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so that just, it's just the, 
the effect of being cool that just puts him up there to me. Yeah. I feel that too for sure. Well, we should probably move on to our Marvel ones. <laughs> it's it's a little more cut for me, like just. So is this strictly comics or is this movie every? Like... No, like just your favorite characters ever. Okay. Because mine's pretty set in stone. It has been since I was little. Well, he's yeah, that's fair. These few. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like there's probably going to be at least, probably at least three characters that's going to be on all of our lists. Mm-hmm. So um, Marvel's a little bit easier to do because they're, they put their most popular characters at the forefront while DC kind of hops around, I feel like. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But um, did you want me to go first again? Yeah, you can kick us off. All right. Uh, my number one favorite Marvel character of all time is the Incredible Hulk. I love Hulk. I've always loved Hulk. Mm-hmm. Um, something about just his only pretty much his only superpower being just complete brute strength um, and how he's so good at that, that he can put up with people who have that wide array of abilities. I just really enjoy that. Um, So I got to go with the Hulk. I feel that for sure. I got to go with Spider-Man for sure. He just, he's been my dude forever. Dude, It's definitely close with my number two, but we'll get into yours. So Spider-Man is number one. That's just the yeah. main one. I feel like majority of people is probably Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so my number two, like I said, already there's one character that's all on all of our lists, you know, because Spider-Man is going to be number two for me. Um, mm-hmm. The fact that he's the most profitable superhero of all time. Um, I think last time I checked, like I think his movies have made a little shy of six billion dollars at this point. Wow! So yeah. like that's just insane. Um, but it's because you know you took someone who's a nerd who never gets the girl and who always gets bullied, and then you gave him, you know, superpowers. And the fact that it didn't change his, like. He's not living in the Avengers mansion or doing anything Mm -hmm. of that. Dude is having to work a crappy job and live in a crappy apartment. And he's Spider-Man, you know, and that's just so cool. So that's, yeah, for sure. (laughs) All right. My number two is going to be the Wolverine. Mm. I've always been a little guy (laughs) my whole life. I was always, you know, the (laughs) shortest in the room, like, and I just, I just loved him being, you know, like unstoppable, like just berserker, you know, the little guy he always looked down on, you know, and then he turns around and he's the guy that takes out the whole bar, you know, of, of in the bar fight. <laughs> like he just yeah. goaded me. I got to go Iron Man. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Interesting. I really like Iron Man. The movies were great. This is the beginning um, of all of the Avengers. And I don't know, I really like the whole Tony Stark vibe. That was <laughs> yeah. awesome. Just having yeah. money doing stuff. And then just like <laughs> how he, even just how he started just being a jerk, caring only about himself to how at the end he was thinking of others and selfless and just like that whole, I think they really did a great job with that. So it made me really like him. Yeah. I think one of the coolest pieces of information on Iron Man is the fact that he was almost kind of like a challenge because Stan Lee's entire purpose for making Iron Man was he was trying to take a character that everyone should hate, which is a spoiled rich dude with an attitude problem, Mm -hmm. and then make him into such a cool character that everyone loves him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, that's for sure. But uh, my third character would probably have to be Captain America. Oh, um, I hate Captain America. Dude, no I, way. I can't stand I knew him. that you would too though, yeah. because if he's he's kind of like Superman, like he's that Boy Scout type yep. guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but the only like it's so crazy the difference between Superman and Captain America to me, because it's if 
you took everything that made Superman invulnerable and you stripped him of that because now you have a Boy Scout who is down to earth. Um, yeah. You know, and uh, I don't know. The fact that he runs around with a shield is kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, so I just like him. I like yeah. him as a character. Well, I feel like if you're like Iron Man, you really don't like Cap. Or it's like I was in Cap. Yeah. In yeah, the movie. Iron Man, Me too. So, yeah. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. My number three is Daredevil. Mm. I've always, again, like kind of the underdog. Like you know, I always like that he, you know, came from nothing pretty much with his his dad being killed, and you know they just kind of flip it and you know do good out of the situation. Yeah. The terrible situation that you know bestowed them as a young child. <laughs> He's always been up there for me, and the show, man, gosh, the Daredevil yeah. show really took it to it's another for sure. level for sure. Mm, I'll have to go Black Panther. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. I like his I, character. I love Chadwick yeah. Boseman though, and what they did with it just in the movie aspect like that was just yeah so do you uh do you remember like where you were and what you were doing when you found out like that he had passed away i do i we were, i think we were all in Fortnite. went back when it was like popping. that's what i was gonna say i think i was at home on yeah, <laughs> yeah on think, Fortnite, and we were I like who said no it? it popped up and we were like no way everybody was like freaking out yeah. I, in my head, I was like, that's not funny, dude. Like, don't say that. Yeah, I was like, dude, And then I'm it was like, kidding. legit, I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah, that was a rough, that was a rough one. Tragic. Yeah. That and Stan Lee was, really uh, hit. Yeah. Um, dude, yeah, but I was at the beach, man, and I'm like, I'm chilling, and I'm like, I have this attitude, like, dude, I'm at the beach, I'm off work, I don't have to do anything. Nothing can ruin my vibe. And it's like TMZ, Chadwick Boseman died. And I'm like, let's go home. <laughs> Man, that is rough. Um, but yeah, that one, Stan Lee and Kobe. Kobe hit me pretty hard. Dude, Kobe hit yeah. me hard. Yeah, and I'm Kobe a LeBron hit. guy. Dude, I like I feel that. But yeah, I, I'm a Celtics fan. Oh. And I love Kobe, which is weird. So it, yeah. it hit me pretty hard. Yeah. Um, is it is it back to me? Yeah. yeah, we're on number four. Got you. Uh, number four, I'm gonna have to go with Wolverine. Um, mm -hmm. which is interesting because you know my top two for DC kind of followed that Wolverine vibe of being like a dark, cool character. Um, but yeah, Wolverine, he's an awesome character. His whole healing factor. Uh, so yeah. Put him at four. Yeah. My four is, like I said, I'm a big X-Men guy. Is It's got to be Nightcrawler. He's my dude, man. Just like, <laughs> I love Nightcrawler. He, just the teleporting and like, I don't know if you ever played, I think it's Ultimate Alliance. Might be two. Gotcha. But, you know, the, have you played it with like the cutscene of him like in the mansion taking out the uh, Doom bots. I, I haven't played it, but I have seen the uh, the cutscene of it. So I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, dude, that that is just like perfectly Nightcrawler to me. Like, and the yeah. X Men Two scene in the White House, man. Like, he just always was cool. The cartoons, mm. everything. Yeah. And my number four used to be not like not be number four. Actually, used to be number two. And it's the Hulk until they just made him terrible. They yeah. ruined him for me. And yeah. yeah, like whenever he's scared to fight and he don't want to come out, like, come on, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just being a kid, getting the Hulk hands, wanting to punch everything. And <laughs> I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Dude, for sure. But, and then you'd hit him together and it'd be like, smash. Yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. still got him, don't you? Dude, I wish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, like, if I had them when we opened up this podcast and you were like, what's going on? I've been like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been perfect. Dude. Um, my fifth character is a it's, – it's an oddball, and it's really out of left field because I would say 
of the Marvel fan base population, I bet you only like 25-ish percent of people know about this guy. Um, but I really, really love Blue Marvel. Um, oh, yeah. That's a, that's a deep yeah. pick there. That's a um, good one, though. He's, his, his power set isn't necessarily like Superman, but he's a Superman-like character. Um, yeah. But I remember reading a comic about him, and he just, like, saved the day. And everyone's, like, basically being like, oh, this is the guy right here. We love this dude. And then they see that he's, like, a black guy, and then they just turn on him. And it's like, dude, yeah. there's something crazy about that that just made me be like, this dude's cool, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great pick, great pick. We'll end it on mine. You can go. Go next. Okay. So fifth is kind of tied. Um, I don't know if this is legal or not, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I have Wanda. Okay. And Thor. And Thor, I just put because my grandma loves Thor. She thinks he's beautiful. So shout out, grandma. <laughs> I got to plug you in here. But Wanda, dude. I just think she's a beast. Yeah, but, dude. I didn't yeah. think to bring in um, my grandma's actor preferences into this list. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just leave that one for the after dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, because anytime Thor's in, like there's a Thor movie, she wants to watch it. Just she likes it, but she likes looking at him, you know. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's except how when they I made am. him fat, then she didn't like that. But <laughs> honestly, that's how I am with um, Scarlet Witch because of Elizabeth Olsen. Uh, <laughs> my wife is aware of it, so you know it's, I'm working on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mine was just mediocre, Captain America. We've already touched Nerd. on it, so we're going to put it. <laughs> Shit, you the list. I don't want to break your heart too much. It's all right. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I have I have a question. Right. Okay. I think I know your answer. But okay. out of the three, Spider-Man, which one's your favorite? Uh, I got to go Toby. Okay. Um, yep. I, have a, I have a unique um, opinion of it. Yeah, I think that, um, I think that Toby is probably the best Peter Parker. I don't think he's the best Spider Man, um, but I think he's the second best Spider Man and the best Peter Parker. So because of that, he's number one to me, and he has the best movies in my opinion. Yeah, um, because like you said, No Way Home wouldn't be what it is without the addition of those other two. Um, so really like you can basically count that as a movie for each of those Spider-Men cause they're in it. Um, yeah. but yeah, I have to go with Toby. Sweet. So who do you think the best Spider-Man is? Oh, <sighs> but you said he was number two. Who was number yeah. one? I, I, I think it's Andrew. Um, yep. I think his, he, he's an Andrew uh, guy. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I think that say? he, <laughs> yeah. I think that he incorporates his, you know, the quips and the fact that he talks, Mm -hmm. you know, so much during this fight. I think that they did a great job of that. Yeah. They did a great job of having the best web slinging scenes that we've seen of a Spider-Man movie. Yeah. Um, But also Andrew Garfield's, his theater training comes out a lot because he portrays such great emotion, even though he has a mask on. Um, he has a great job of it, so I got to give him as the number one best of the Spider-Man itself. You know, yep. yeah, I feel the same, and I I put him as the worst Peter, but the best Spider-Man to me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, because like yeah, they I, they made him cool. You know, you can't <laughs> you can't make Peter Parker cool. Like, <laughs> I. The opening scene was like him riding around on a skateboard, and I'll be like, yeah. "That dude's cool. Like, I want to <laughs> hang out with him. That's not yeah. Spider Man, you know." Yeah. yeah. Um, and you know, of course, that means that I think Tom is the worst Spider Man, but the second best Peter Parker. Yeah. Yep. Um, but that being said, it's not like I don't like him. Like, yeah. I still really enjoy him. You know. Mm-hmm. I didn't, the only thing, the only gripe I have with Tom is 
and it's not even on him. It's all in the fact that he was kind of handed everything. Like I've always liked how you were saying Spider-Man came from nothing. You know, he has the crappy apartment, the crappy job. He's always, you know, getting fired. <laughs> and now he has like yeah. these suits gifted to him. Like he has all the tech yeah. and everything. And I don't yeah, I didn't really I like think, that. Um, I think you're right. I think one of the best scenes from Spider-Man 2 is when he's like, please, I just need this job. And they just rip the pizza sticker off his helmet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, that's awesome. They pizza time. <laughs> so, yeah. so yours pizza is Toby, yours is Andrew, right? Yeah. For, yeah if we're going so. Spider-Man 1. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, so if they all three fought, who wins? Dude, it's it's tough because um, I think, if Tom I remember correctly... Yeah, Tom has the suit, and I think based on feats, he technically is the strongest Spider-Man. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is because when Tom uh, was about to kill the Green Goblin, he came down with the glider. Toby mm-hmm. just kind of caught it, yep. and it didn't look like he was struggling, um, but it looked like Tom was kind of putting almost everything that he had behind it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Tom also, um, though, just went to town beating the mess out of him, too. So he could have been a little tired, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but you got to think, too, I, if, you, if you give him the edge with the suit, if you're going now, he, he doesn't have You don't have anymore. the suit anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fair. So straight up, then, without, yeah. the, um, without the Stark suit, with the new suit that he just got, I think Toby wins. Same. Um, because of the fact that he has more experience than all of them, mm-hmm. who comes in second place? I don't know. Like yeah. that's when I'm like, yeah, it might be Andrew, it might be Tom, but I feel like just straight up hand to hand, I feel like Toby probably wins. Yeah, yeah, I feel that too. Yeah. One more thing to add to that is the thing I was talking about at the beginning. I saw it on Twitter. It was, it said if you drop these five in New York, who makes it out? It was the PS5 Peter, or PS4 Peter, you know, from the games. The three, act, you know, live action, or Peter B. Parker from Across the Spider-Verse. Ooh. Yeah, so um, what we were talking about earlier with, Tom, Tom Spider-Man, you know, we kind of mentioned the fact that he doesn't have his suit upgrades anymore. Mm -hmm. And with Spider-Man 2 on PS5 just coming out, not only does PS5 Spider-Man have an upgraded suit, but now it's even better than it was before because it has the Iron Spider arms kind of built into it. Yep. Um, So PlayStation wins. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta go with PlayStation. Yeah, Honestly, like, that's what yeah. I was thinking. He's kind of like, you know, he's. Not, I feel like he's kind of along the lines of, you know, Andrew in mm. No Way Home, experience wise. Yeah, but Tom with the tech, like, yeah, that's kind of like the balance. I would say, for sure, for sure. He's just goaded, man. Absolutely, I agree. All right, well. I guess that's it. Um, crazy having you on because we're yeah, you know, dude, we're up and coming. But <laughs> dude, no, for sure. Like I, I loved seeing because uh, you know my first introduction to y'all was when y'all tagged me in that video. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't look at like comments or stuff like that, but I do look at tags just because yeah. I'm like, you know, this is interesting. I want to see um, what this person. Most of the time when people tag me, it's just like, dude, can you build me a character? So yeah. <laughs> um, you know, most of the time when people tag me, I want to see what it is. But when I saw it was y'all, I was like, oh, dude, this is cool. Um, and then, of course, you know, once I kind of dived into it and I was like, oh, dude, they do sports too. That's awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, I like it a lot, dude. But I would say, so like probably a year ago, Um, When I was uh, still a trainer at a gym, dude, I would like I would only put put out like one video a week because I was so busy and exhausted from my job. 
Um, but each video would hit over like a hundred thousand, like super, super duper easy. And then yeah. recently, you know, now that I have a little bit more time on my hands and I can focus on doing TikTok a little bit better so that I can put out more content because people seem to like it. Um, dude, like each video is kind of chilling out around 5,000, you know? So, yeah. um, I would say you guys are definitely coming out in the thick of it because they put out a new algorithm where for some reason people just aren't getting as many views. But um, that being said, I love the collaboration of sports and superheroes. I think it's really, really cool. And I think you guys are doing a great job so far. That means a lot. Thanks for sure. Because yeah. Yeah, we, we're pretty much just coming from like, you know, being on the Xbox you know, party, talking yeah. crap to each other, hot takes, and we're like, dude, why don't we try to, you know, go somewhere actually with this, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Instead of doing just it, record you know, it. For fun, dude, let's see if out. other people like it. But Yeah, just, I think all of us that are into gaming really hope that our party chats never get leaked to the public. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be rough. I yeah, think a lot gotta, of people would be in prison <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got to keep, we just got to keep, you know, the... The, yep. the PG sides of the, of, <laughs> of the of conversation. The yeah. <laughs> Put it out. Uh, real quick, before you head out, can you give us a Duval one time? <laughs> oh, we gotta, we're going to clip it. Just say Duval. You like got to do Jags, it one time. For the Jags, uh, man. No. He's like, no. what? No, what? You don't have to do that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had to try. But to say, we, we want to get him back on. Okay. So I would just clip yeah, it dude. and then tag you, you know? But. Yeah, feel free to reach out, man. You guys are you guys are good people, and like I said, you, I can tell that y'all are really trying hard at this. So, uh, just feel free to reach out, man. Cool, appreciate yeah, maybe, you. Maybe you never know. One day, maybe we can get you in. This is this isn't our usual set. We had to we had to yeah, go somewhere nice. with a little bit more stable Wi Fi. <laughs> but yeah, you know you know how it is. <laughs> y'all are down in uh, Florida, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I um. I've only been down there once, and it was because I was on like a little camp retreat to a uh, Pensacola Christian College. Mm -hmm. But, um, dude, I had to bring like twelve cans of Gold Bond with me, bro. It's 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 something serious down there. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But yeah, maybe maybe one day we can figure something out. Oh, for sure. Hopefully, absolutely. Definitely get you on like this again for sure. Yeah, man. Like I said, feel free to reach out. Um, but yeah, for sure, absolutely. Well. Thanks for joining. All right, man. This I'll catch you all next time. See you, man.